Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. I am here at my local Talmadge Goodwill. And I got good feedback from the first Saturday that I did this kind of quick thrift trip. Um, and I have another one in the can that you've probably already seen by the time you see this. So why am I even saying this? I don't know. <laughs> but we're going to go in here, see what we can find in a limited amount of time. Just one trip in and out. We get what we get and we don't pitch a fit. <laughs> Let's go do it. All right. The little board here says... 50% off black and white. Okay, right inside the front door, I saw this big shell. And I think this is a giant snail shell. Usually when you see these, they are broken. And I'm not seeing any sort of damage on this one. It is $15. But looks like it might sell for... I don't know, 40, 50 bucks. I'm gonna put it in the cart and think about it. I have a couple of carts out here. And I'm digging these vintage shufflers. Didn't really see anything else. Crazy good. Oh, these might be worth a look up. Are these dated? Definitely have a 80s or 90s look. Because I came over for the carts, I'm in the back by the art. A couple of things that I wanted to share with you. This thing here. <laughs> this is crazy. Obviously, an amateur art piece, just kind of nuts. This piece too up here is an amateur piece. This piece I'm interested in getting down and taking a look at because potentially it could be a watercolor. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm pretty sure it's a print. But we're going to zoom into it and take a look. Watercolors are the trickiest, especially when they're printed like that on a kind of textured paper, but you see the dots in there, the little tiny dots. And that tells you it's a print. I can almost tell by the muddy quality of it that it was a print even when I was just looking at it here, but that's a way to tell. You can zoom in. I feel like I'm doing this store backwards, but that's okay. <laughs> We're in the very back now. Kind of dig this green chair. I also like these older kitchen chairs over here. Painted black. Those are older and nice. I'm in my mom's favorite area over here in the crafts. Tempted by this. This is a whole pack of different color tool although I have quite a bit at home so I probably don't need that um, anybody need a bazillion little rubber bands because those are here too I ran into these and these are like ornaments so those are like fancy parasols and these are dresses these definitely have a Christmas look I'm not sure what that is some sort of sachet but not only is there this, which has one, two, three, four dresses and two parasols, but this, these are also Victorian looking. This has one, two, three, four, five, six dresses for five dollars. So it makes them less than a dollar a piece. There's more in here. These little umbrellas for a buck a piece. This has, I think, some more parasols, some hats, some hands, and that cute thing. Probably a sachet, 
some hats. So these are all things I'm going to think about. I got all of them. I think that might be all of them. I'm going to do some math on them and see if it makes sense to pick them up. I need to check this out with y'all. I just spotted this huge nut. Oh my. That's a big nut. <laughs> It has some damage kind of around the edges. Gosh, that's neat. What ten dollars for it? Looks like maybe the nutcracker tools should have been in here. And then it's got a hammer in there. So you can hammer your nuts. Uh, I think we'll leave that for ten dollars. Oh, these are cute. Those are nice. I don't handle this teacups. We'll see. We'll think about it. That looks like it's a little radio. I've had one of these before. These are handmade, actually. Little hand carved. Um, that might be worth a pickup. I have a little dome that I could put that in. That would have been good to have over at the shop though for Father's Day. What are these? Are these real carved wood? Are they $10 each? All right, I need two hands to check these out. They're pretty monstrous. Oh my gosh, they're so big and very heavy. There's some differences about them. Um, this one is definitely in better condition. You can see here that it's completely sealed up against the shelf, whereas this has some issues here. And this one has a hanger in the back that was actually grilled into the piece while well, this one doesn't just has the two kind of cheap hangers hmm. I mean they look like they match though for $20 hmm I sold something similar on eBay for really good money Oh Lord, I'm gonna put these in my cart and think about them. <laughs> she looks like she might do something. Oh, she probably lights up. Aw, these guys are cute. I like the black bears. This is us. All right, who else watched that show and cried like every week when it came on? Oh, this side we got a brown bear. He's kind of sweet. What's down here? It's like a band of some kind. A little stone box. A metal key holder. Those are six apiece. Those are kind of nice. Coffee time. Mm, I don't see any baskets that I love. This is kind of a neat little dome. Look at how skinny it is. Fab Lab. Oh, it's praying hands. Are there two? There are two. Can I have praying hands bookends?
There were two girls in here earlier. They were shopping together and they were cracking me up. Just giggling and urging each other to buy stuff, spend money. Wow. <laughs> that is one ginormous black leaf. And it's glass. It's painted underneath. That's a little scary. What's this? True Living Twilight Forest. What does a Twilight Forest smell like? I don't know. I don't mind it. It's kind of um, cologne-y. A little bit cologne-y. I like the way this looks. Although, if that used to have silver overlay, they just destroyed it with that tape. Goodwill. We don't have to do that. We don't have to tape everything like that. It's not good. Look at the little kitty. Cute, cute. That looks old. I have seen better days. You can go through. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> I just saw another. This says made in Italy. That one's five dollars. I like that. Where is the uh, other one for that? Hmm. <laughs> I just have a whole cart full of uh, wooden corbels or shelves or whatever these things are. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look around again and see if there's another one of those. Look at this guy. Aw, Avon. What does it do? It has a cork. Now oh, it has holes in the basket. Does this look like a piece of pottery? It does. It's interesting. There's a little bit of a spout there. Huh. Kind of signed? I don't know, it's just a single. Although it's very pretty. All right, this is the last aisle. These are neat. Kind of wonky, they look like they're blown glass. No blue, anything green. We got some frogs. What's going on with this guy? He's missing an eyeball. Oh no. And some toes. <laughs> That's not good. That guy is sticking his tongue out at you. How rude. This little girl back here. She needs to go down to the yellow shelf. Mm. What are these? Hmm. Do we know? Big chunky metal thing on top. Looks like it would be a lamp. Shade, maybe they hang like that. I don't know. Whoa, that's a very tall sugar coated 
for a tree. <laughs> Defined and refined brows by Benefit. Just the cases. Interesting. It's kind of neat. Has a cool look to it. And I think we're out of shelves, which is good because I gotta get home. This place closes at six and I gotta be home before six, so it's good timing. We got fruit down there. We'll take a last look on the uh, toy shelves and I think we will assess here, figure out what we're taking home and get out of here. Does that sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Alright, I'm struggling a little bit. I think we're going to leave these here. Um, the carved piece that I had in the past was very kind of ornate. It had grapes and uh, uh, like a creeping vine and it was perfect for somebody who had a wine cellar or a wine bar. These are going to take a very specific buyer. They're so big. They're beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous, but I just don't know. Mm, I hate to leave them here for $10 a piece, but I just, I feel like they're going to sit somewhere and they're going to take up a lot of room. So I think we're going to leave them here. Um, these I'm going to grab. It looks like they have a very good salter rate on eBay. So I'm gonna snag those. Um, although this is only $5, it seems like these similar ones um, just don't have a lot of value. I find that with a lot of wooden carved pieces. Um, I feel like if there was two of these at $5 a piece, I might scoop them, but I'm just kind of doubting myself on this one as well. Uh, again, it's going to take a very specific buyer, and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it. So I'm going to grab the two card shufflers, because I think that they will sell on eBay, and that's what I'm trying to do here, is buy more stuff for eBay. So these are all going to go back. Um, let me do some math here and see if these even make sense. I'm also going to put these back. I know they're only $1.25, but there's no teapot or anything. They're just very specific. I don't know if somebody's going to just pick up two of these unless they have something that matches them. So those are going to be returned. These, as I'm looking at them, I do think that these would sell over at the shop this Christmas. It looks like everything here is about a dollar a piece in the bag. Um, some maybe a little bit less maybe 75 cents a piece but they're not all gonna sell <laughs> keep that in mind if you're gonna put stuff in a booth like this uh, they're probably not all gonna sell so maybe gonna double my money or a little bit more generally that's not a good decision but Christmas is a big season for us at the booth and these have a cool Victorian appeal so uh, 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 uh. I think I'm going to grab them. I think I'm going to grab them. So it's 16. And now the shell. I'll do a little bit more research here. Oh, really struggling today. This is beautiful. I am noticing that it has possible damage right here. Could I get 50 for it? Maybe. I don't have enough experience. But I feel like even if I doubled my money, I don't know. I feel like I want to take a chance on it. So we are going to grab that. I'm going to grab that, put the rest of the stuff back. They said they're closing in 13 minutes. And I got to get in line and get home. So we're out. Out, out, out. It's actually the Wednesday of the unlive sale. So at 6 o'clock I have to be in front of my computer. <laughs> I hope I will make it. I'm literally like two or three minutes away from here, so hopefully I can get there on time. Let's talk about indecisive, my gosh. I'm already like almost regretting not picking up the carved stuff because I just love it so much, but I have to be smart, right? I have to be smart. Um, 
yeah, I have like two minutes to get home. <laughs> I think I'm going to be late, but I wanted to just jump on and say thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try and do these every other Saturday for a while. See how they go. Let me know down below if you like this format. Um, it's a lot easier to edit and throw together than my other format where I jump in and out with my uh, haul. So let me know how you feel. And I hope you're having a good weekend. And I will see you on Tuesday. All right. Bye.